Hello, Palisades Park Junior Senior High School. Welcome to our weekly news. Alongside Eileen Kim, I'm Jacqueline Lee. It's that time of year where many seniors are starting to fill out their college applications. Last night, our school held a workshop for seniors and their parents to explain the FAFSA form and the importance of completing the form in order to receive federal financial aid while attending college. But finishing school, and they found that to be really important. The benefits and would be for the students and parents to get to know what, what documents are required for the FAFSA, um, how much or what aid is out there for them, whether it be loans or grants, and how to apply for the whole process. Use this as their primary tool to even um, Well, students should apply to try to get any money possible for college because college can be very expensive. And this year, it's a New Jersey State requirement to, for every student to fill out the FAFSA. Wednesday morning, our student council took a one-hour trip down the turnpike to Rutgers University. Once there, they attended a leadership symposium hosted by the team's organization. There's access. over 240 students from around the country going there. It's an organization that really allows students to connect on different places in different states. Uh, but everyone has the agenda in their packets. And they're a nonprofit organization that fundraises for third world countries, but also different groups um, domestically and internationally that need help uh, in different ways. Next Wednesday, the Drama Club is hosting a Halloween themed movie night. The Drama Club says they expect it, it will be a good time. In my three years I've been here, I haven't really seen something like this, and I've heard like it's been done in the past, so I thought it'd be interesting. We, Drama Club thought it'd be interesting to bring it back. Uh, Miss V's really been spearheading all of this. She's been organizing and planning it, uh, but I'm excited for the students to come on Halloween. I think it's a fun opportunity for people to just come. It's not really a party or anything, but it's a social event, but you can also just chill and watch the movie. Tickets are $5, but if you come dressed in a costume, you only pay $3 and you get free popcorn. Sticking with the Halloween theme, a few PPHS news store staffers took the show on the road and decided to venture out in search of the perfect Halloween costume. Ooh, where'd they go? Just watch the video. Watch the video. Bro, Diego, I have no idea what to be for Halloween, bro. Halloween. Actually, I don't know. Bro, it's close, Sarah, right? What, what do you think? Guys, I think we should go to Spirit Halloween. what to get like there's so many options oh my god Mari I think I found a costume <laughs> Mari Guys? So what do you think? So what do you think? So what do we think? It doesn't even fit me. This this is disgusting now. Thank you. So what do you think? I love it. I finally found the perfect costume. Now I can go home. <laughs> so, did you guys find anything? Yeah. yeah. You couldn't just tell me they went to Spirit Halloween? You couldn't just wait 15 seconds to watch the video? Anyways, moving on to sports, our girls volleyball team has their senior night next Tuesday. Make sure you stop by the gym after school to support the team. Also, the Leonia Paul Park girls soccer team posted a nice win over Richfield yesterday. Well, we feel great because we haven't won many games this year because we graduated 12 seniors last year. So we had a pretty bad season. But with yesterday, we had a, we had a great day because it was senior night also, so. And the football team hosted Wallington last night and the dance team also performed during the halftime of the game. Also, the girls tennis team wrapped up their season this past Monday. It also marked the end of Mr. Westcott's 16-year career as the team's coach as he announced he is retiring from coaching the team. Congrats, coach. We'll miss you. Mr. Westcott has taught me how to be confident, you know, don't give up, always keep trying. 
Mr. Westcott. You were such a great coach. And although you always yelled at us, it, <laughs> it was super fun having you and we'll miss you a lot. His words really helped me grow as a person and as a player. And I'm glad that I was able to complete my full four years of tennis with him as my coach. Uh, he helped me through a lot and encouraged me to do better than the last. And yeah, I'm really glad that he was my coach. I just want to thank Mr. Westcott for all his, everything he taught us. He was a really good coach. He taught me a lot of stuff about tennis and about life. Thank you, Mr. Westcott, for teaching me how to play tennis and like encouraging me for all four years. I just want to say thank you to Mr. Westcott for helping me grow as a player. And even though you won't be here for some of our final seasons, we wish you a happy retirement and thank you for the last three years. That's all for the news. Here's a few quick announcements. The Art Club is painting pumpkins today after school. The cost is $3 and there's only 10 tickets left. And senior open lunch is next Friday. Seniors, make sure your grades, attendance, and all that stuff is in good standing. And that's it for the show. Be sure to check us out our YouTube channel at Pal Park. P-A-L-P-K video, our Instagram at PPHS underscore news source, and the high school's Instagram at Pal Park HS. I'm Eileen Kim. And I'm Jacqueline Lee. And on a side note, we're not actually in the news class, but they don't have class on D-Days, so you'll be seeing our class every time Friday falls on a D-Day. With that, we leave you with the Mr. Wiseman dad joke of the week. Wait, what they say? They say they hope they did a good as job as you did last week. Liar. Ah, oh, I burnt my Hawaiian pizza. You should have cooked it at a low hot temperature.